Next, we're going to take a look at tangent and cotangent graphs. As you can see, these are very different from the sine and cosine graphs, secant and cosecant. They're different because these graphs have a different type of shape. As you see, the shape resembles more of like a cube shape. So these have asymptotes. The tangent graph has asymptotes on the half pies, as you can see there, where the cotangent graph has asymptotes on the, the whole values of pi. You can also see that the graph is generally increasing. It's increasing as you go from left to right, whereas the cotangent graph would be decreasing as you go from left to right. The thing that makes these different also is they have a different period. The period of these is going to be pi. The reason why it's pi is because that's how long one cycle is. If we have one of these things from here to here, it's going to be a pi. And then the same thing gets repeated here between pi and 2 pi. Just like over here, between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, that would be considered one full value of pi. And so that would be its period. So now that we've taken a look at the general graphs, what we'll do next is we'll take a look at some formulas that we can do looking at the general form of the tangent and cotangent graphs. Next, we're going to talk about the general form of a tangent and cotangent, as you can see here. We have a tangent bx minus c and a cotangent bx minus c. So the, the b and the c are going to be familiar to you from what they were with the sine and the cosine graphs. Now we have an a that's out front, but this is unlike the sine and cosine, this is not the amplitude. The reason why is because tangent, cotangent, they actually do not have an amplitude. Instead, the A is actually going to be a, a vertical stretch. So if A is larger, it stretches it in this direction. If A is a fraction, like between 0 and 1, then it kind of compresses the graph down, it squishes it. So that's what the A value does. So there's no amplitude here, and so we only have period, half point, and phase shift as the different formulas. Now the period, notice it's pi over b instead of 2 pi over b, because we just mentioned previously that the period of, of tangent and cotangent is pi and not 2 pi. The half point is what we're going to be using when we get into the graphs of these. When you did the sine and cosine graphs, you found the quarter point, but with tangent and cotangent, it's the half point. So period divided by 2. And then we have phase shift. The formula for phase shift is actually the same as it is for the sine and cosine graphs. It's C over B. Remember, though, that when you grab your C value, you're always going to take the opposite sign of what you see inside the formula. So it's going to be opposite sign of C over B, but the actual formula itself uh, is C over B. So now that we've taken a look at all these formulas, next we're going to put them into practice by doing a couple examples. Okay, for this problem, they want us to find the period and the phase shift for this right here. So we're going to use the formulas that we just talked about in the previous video uh, in order to answer these. So first of all we want to do the period. Now the formula for the period is going to be pi over b, which in this case we're going to do pi divided by, the b is always a number in front of the x, so we're going to do pi over one half flip and multiply, it's going to give you 2 pi for the period. Next we want to do the phase shift. Now the formula for phase shift is C over B. Remember it's always the opposite sign of C over B. So this is going to be, uh, it's, it's the formula, I'll, I'll write that out, C over B. It's going to be negative pi over 3 divided by the number in front of the x. So negative pi over 3 divided by 1 half. If you flip and multiply, it's going to be negative pi over 3 times 2 over 1. So you're going to get negative 2 pi over 3, and that is going to be your phase shift. For our next problem, we want to find the period and the phase shift for this here. The period is pi over b. It's going to be pi divided by the number in front of the x. So we're going to do pi divided by 3 pi over 4. And so then you're going to flip and multiply. So you're going to do pi over 1 times 4 over 3 pi like this. That's going to allow you to cancel out the pi's here. And you're going to get 4 thirds as the answer. For the phase shift, you're going to take the, it's C over B. So you're going to take the opposite sign of C over B. So because there's a minus here, 
we're going to do positive pi over 6 divided by the 3 pi over 4 down below. And then we're going to flip and multiply once again. So pi over 6 times 4 over 3 pi. The, the uh, pi's are going to cancel out. We can also reduce this as well. Take a two out of the top and bottom, and we're gonna get two ninths as the answer. The pi's again are gonna be gone. So in this case, we get whole number answers for these, and there's not gonna be any pi's in our answer for the period and the phase shift.